Hello guys, and I should say happy March. I haven't even said that. So yes, welcome to March with me. Anyways, um, today I like noticed, well last night I noticed my hair being all like orangey pieces and whatnot, um, just cause of like the whole strawberry champagne, rose gold fade and um, it's turning into this like weird orangey kind of like going on right now like orange peach going on which I'm not a, really a fan of right now <laughs> so I wound up buying the Moroccan oil um, this is the hair mask in champagne and I'm gonna give this a try so I'm just gonna take you guys with me and see how this goes so I just got out of the shower and pretty much my hair is wet since that's the instructions and I pretty much brushed it out so that it's all damped and whatnot. So we're gonna create six different pieces now. Yeah. So weird with my hair being in the middle parting. And don't mind this shirt. <laughs> this is what I wear when I dye my hair and whatnot. So I think that's good. Okay. So I tied up five of my sections of my hair and I'm going to start off with, not this section, but this section and just we're going to go full on using my hands and not using gloves, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> it's a very interesting feel. It smells really good, I will say that. Whoa, that is so cool. Sorry guys, I'm just done applying and I'm going to brush this out so that the product just gets evenly distributed. And yes, I have the whole, I have a lot of dye <laughs> in my head right, on my hair, not on my head. I think like a ring right now, you know? You guys think of my middle parting. I think it's so like weird because I normally don't do this parting. So yeah. And now I'm going to wait for a good, I think I'm gonna keep this in for 30 minutes. It's supposed to be five to seven, but I really want this to like really go into my hair to take out those orange, red, weird parts. All right so. guys, and this is what it looks like in the aftermath. Here, do a twirl around too. I like, I'm actually pretty happy with like the result. Like my hair looks definitely a lot more natural and not as crazy and with all those crazy red orangey parts. So definitely I'm liking this. I feel like I'm caramel again. <laughs> so that was my process and I would definitely recommend this champagne if you wanted to try it out. If you guys want to know what a good friend is, a good friend is someone who is willing to drive in an hour traffic just to go drink with your friend once they get off of work. That's exactly what I'm doing right now, just because like she's having a really bad day, so I'm just being Use a support right for her right I now. Sorry South about the ramp. GPS, but yeah, I'm excited to see her. This is like behind the scenes of what happens when I'm editing my video, especially get ready with me. Kind of just like have everything out just so that I get an idea of like what am I using and things like that. So just thought I'd show you guys that. Do you guys see that? There's a cup noodle right there. That is so cool.
Hello guys, so it is currently Saturday, March 7th, yes, March 7th, and right now I am about to go pick up my one of my cousins and my also my brother, and we are heading off to San Francisco tonight, which I'm freaking excited for because we're going to meet up with another cousin there too, and this is just going to be like an all-around family trip kind of a thing, and I'm super excited just because like this is my first time um, traveling with the cousins, <laughs> so this is gonna be a lot of fun, and I'm taking you guys along, so let's go! just got home and um, pretty much unpacked for the first few minutes as I got home just because um, I don't really want to deal with it later and as you can see I still have the bags out from behind me <laughs> just because um, I mean they're empty and I will put them away later but overall I had an amazing honestly an amazing trip with my two cousins and my brother I just honestly couldn't believe that I did something like that because this is my first time doing um, a trip with them and it just wound up being such an incredible trip and I also didn't vlog uh, today just because like I really just wanted to spend the moment with them and enjoying the last few minutes um, with them as well and having really good deep conversations like we didn't really do much either like we just got some food and talked got some coffee and pretty much head to the airport and that was it. So, yeah. Hello guys. So I went to actually just go watch Harley Quinn movie and it was actually really good. Now I'm heading back to go home, so. Hello yeah. guys, so it has definitely been a while since I've vlogged for a bit. I'm in my car right now, so <laughs> don't mind me. Uh, just chilling right now and waiting for my friend. We are about to celebrate both of our birthdays, even though we are winter babies, but who cares? We're celebrating in the spring just cause like both of us have been pretty busy and whatnot. So yeah, it's gonna be freaking exciting and I'm really excited for also it Also the reason why I haven't been vlogging as much is because I actually wound up getting, getting sick and you know, before I got sick I was on a little vacation so I didn't want to vlog, I mean, I didn't say I didn't want to vlog my time but it's more like I was spending time with like family so I was just more of just wanting to enjoy the moment instead of just pulling it out and start talking in front of uh, people and whatnot so I'm sorry about that but don't you worry there definitely will be more clips in this vlog. So it's only been a few days since I've last vlogged and I just cannot believe like how crazy the world is going because of this virus. Um, I actually had a good cry not too long ago because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm seriously just really stressed out and overwhelmed about that and mainly because it's basically financial purposes. Um, I definitely wasn't ready for it and I thought that everything would be okay and that we would be more prepared for it in the US but we're definitely not so now I'm seriously just on the hunt for a job outside of just doing uber because you know clearly right now no one really wants to take ubers and whatnot or even be outside let alone and it's just, 
it's scary. It's honestly really scary. Like, I have bills to pay in two weeks and I'm supposed to move too by next week, next weekend. And now I'm just thinking like, is this gonna even be possible for me to do that? So, wherever you are, and if you are facing the same struggle as me, financially and all the things, I just want to let you know that you're not alone and that I'm in the same boat as you and that it is scary, but it's, it's going to be okay. At least I hope. <laughs> I mean, I should say I know because I've been through a lot of crazy crisis situations already before and things always wound up being okay, even when they don't feel like it's going to be okay. So I just wanted to leave that message for you guys. This lunch, and as you notice, there's onions and vegan crumbles in my mac and cheese. I highly recommend this. It's really good. I know this is not the healthiest, but Today yellow. is, yeah, pretty much the start of Postmates. I'm pretty much online and I'm just in my car waiting for an order to come to me. I don't really know what to expect. All I know is that I'm just gonna keep an open mind to trying this new experience and just trying new things and, you know, having another outlet to basically earning money. From <laughs> one delivery of Postmate and I actually got a ride from Uber. So, um, I don't know how to describe the first delivery and I know I shouldn't base my first experience as like the whole sum of, you know, general thoughts of Postmates, but at least for now, I will say that it brings me back to delivering times when I was a waitress, um, back when I was like 18, I guess. Um, it's a little weird and, you know, it felt nice to be up and running around to like delivering food. But I think a little stressful part is just like not knowing the area and also finding the numbers to the buildings or the buildings, you know, whatever it is, the apartment. I mean, the apartment number is fine, but just finding that number building. There we go. If I'm making any sense, you know, I hope I am. Um, but it wasn't too bad. I was just a little weird because like I felt like I have I had food and I had to deliver without even coming in contact with a person, which is fine because in times like these, we shouldn't be in social interactions anyways. Um, but it just felt like I was dropping off food to a random door. I did message them just in case um, so that they can message me back uh, if I did get the wrong number, but I know I did not. Um, I was a little under time on uh, delivering, especially to their apartment. But I'm just not gonna stress it out because like ultimately I did get there at a, I felt like it, was, it wasn't it was too bad. Um, I found it and I made it to their place. So I haven't got any complaints. So I did wanted to mention you guys that I have decided that I will no longer be doing Uber full time, which honestly does make me really sad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie about that. Um, it's just that things have just not been financially stable, um, even doing the business and being able to pay myself. Um, I mean, I'm still doing it as like a side hustle, I guess now instead of full time, but it's just, it has not been really working out for me. And I knew that this wouldn't be working out anymore uh, ever since the whole airport deal and um you know being advised to not travel since that is where i make my money so off of most rides but at least i'm still grateful to have uber as a side hustle um even if it's not full time i will say i am going to definitely miss um doing it just because like man it, it's been it's been a wild ride with uber and it's definitely been a fun adventure like i'm very grateful for that app being able to be 
an independent contractor with it and being able to drive for Uber, being able to meet all those wonderful people that, I mean, yeah, I would say 90% of the time I meet pretty wonderful people. Um, but yeah, just being able to do that and being able to even, you know, test myself and challenge myself during the rides that are not so comfortable too because as a driver like I you know I have someone's life in my hands and I have a car that's in my hands too where you know if I wreck it if anything is wrecked I should say if I get in a car accident that's all on me and if I get injured or anything that's on me too so there's definitely a lot that goes behind being an uber driver as well so I thought I would disclose that although this is the end of me doing it full-time who knows maybe I'll pick it back up again way later in my life but for now I have definitely have plans I have plans to you know, look for other jobs, as I've mentioned before, and, you know, go from there. And I want to take this time as, I want to see it more as a stepping stone rather than, you know, everything falling apart on me instead. Like, I want to take this time and see this as a huge awakening opportunity for me to go even further and go into the career that I am meant to be in because I know that I wasn't meant to be an Uber driver forever. Um, even though I had a lot of great fun in it and I learned a lot, um, it's really showed me the path that I want to take uh, in a career and I want to do more of things that allow me to be independent, that allow me to be free, that allow me to help people and care for them at the same time on my terms. And who knows, we'll, we'll see where it all goes. I feel like it took me a while to really, you know, take it into as that perception rather than seeing as, you know, that really good thing falling apart and being really sad about it because that's exactly where I was for honestly a good while like this whole entire week <laughs> so yeah I thought I'd just update you guys on that and if you're going through the same thing as me with having to search for a new job or start start all over again I would say how about that in any type of form um, just know that you can do this. You are so capable of doing it. You've done it once, you can do it twice. And even though right now things may be honestly a shithole <laughs> and really scary and nerve wracking and overwhelming, things will get better eventually. I mean, nothing lasts forever anyways. So until then, please stay brave stay courageous um don't don't let this thing be a thing where it defeats you day one of moving out pretty much like my whole entire car is like look at that it is completely packed um there's more in the trunk i just made use of all the space within my car and i'm pretty proud of myself because like i moved pretty much all of the heaviest things that uh that i can do pretty much um this isn't my furniture so that is gonna be round two there's gonna be three more rounds pretty much so yeah, I thought I'd just update you guys. Can't believe that tonight is already the last night of me being in this room. And it's just completely, well, most of my stuff is pretty much packed and at the other place, my new place now. I just, yeah, you can tell I'm really <laughs> just speechless at everything, but I'm super grateful for this experience and I can't believe it's already come to an end.
it literally just felt like it was yesterday that I moved in and now I'm a past um I'm pretty sure she passed last night just because I brought her to the new place and I changed her water to the new water and I'm pretty sure she didn't like it because if you look at her close I mean you can't really see it but if you were to look at her closer she looks like she was suffocating for air so she didn't like the new water and I pretty much felt like I, I didn't do a bad job with the temperature, but yeah, it sucks. <laughs> but I'm about to flush her down this toilet, which is the apartment. I brought her back because this is her home, you know, this was her home. And I'm sure she would rather be flushed down the toilet that, um, you know, of her home instead of the new one. So. All right, you guys, this is pretty much it to moving out. I'm pretty much all packed up and everything. Except for this, but. Pretty much all cleared out, everything, nothing's left. I'm gonna miss being outside in this balcony area too. It was so nice. Look at that. Literally nothing left. And this room is completely empty, just like how I found it. <laughs> nothing in the closet. Everything's gone in the bathroom, all cleared out. I look like a completely total hot mess right now just because I got done cleaning this whole place. But I just want to say that I'm super grateful for all of it. It was just good memories. Totally good memories and totally worth it. I'm definitely going to miss living here because I don't think I will be coming back, honestly. So, yeah. But anyways, um, before I end this vlog, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. There was definitely a lot of things that have happened this whole entire month. A lot of changes. Definitely a lot of big changes. And, you know, um, I'm managing. <laughs> trying to handle everything just one day at a time kind of a thing. Anyways... I hope that you guys will take care and then until next time, see you guys.